Hey, what's up everybody? This is Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit and manage light boxes within the mobile editor on Wix. So here I have just a simple portfolio style site and I'm going to add a light box to it. Maybe a light box to subscribe to a newsletter, for instance. I'm going to go over to my plus icon, which is the add icon and find light boxes. And then I'm going to find join our mailing list. I'm just going to click on that to add it to my site. Now an important thing here, under set triggers or the settings, says automatically display lightbox on pages. If this is set to no, I'm not going to be able to edit any of these settings on mobile. So I need it to be set to yes and then I can go to my mobile editor to really edit any of the lightbox settings. So I've got this light box, it's all set up, it's got an overlay, join our mail mailing list, you know, email address, subscribe, and all, all that. When I go back to home, and then back ob over to my mobile editor, I'm here on my mobile editor. When I preview, my light box is not going to show up. Automatically, it's turned off by default, which you might think about doing anyway and not showing a light box, because Google SEO does not necessarily like pop-ups on mobile websites. But if you have a reason to show it, I'm gonna show you how to do that. First things first, we need to navigate to the light box. So I'm going to go to menus and pages, drop down to light boxes, and select my subscribe light box. Now we see how it looks on mobile. Because we had that set to automatically show on all pages on desktop, we have actual settings here. So I can go into my settings icon and notice how it's selected no on automatically display on all pages. That's because we're in the mobile editor. So right now it's saying no, don't display on any of the mobile pages. Now, if you want it to display, you can click yes. Now we're going to see it pop up on mobile. So if we exit this, go back up to preview. Now, if we wait for a sec, our light box is going to pop up for our mobile viewers on any of the pages on our mobile site. So that's what I wanted to show you that preview there. So it does work now. If we go back to the editor, we can actually navigate using this quick drop down, down to light boxes, subscribe. From here, this is where we can sort of edit our text and edit how our items are displayed here on the mobile version of our light box. So we can click outside of the light box to adjust the overlay settings. We can also adjust, you know, whether or not clicking the overlay closes the light box. We can click on our X icon, hide that element, or adjust any other settings there. We can also click on the light box itself, go into settings. Potentially, this light box could be linked if you wanted it to be. Uh, we can also adjust the fade in and what that animation is like if it animates on mobile. And if we want to customize the background, we have to switch to desktop. But any of these other items and elements we can customize specifically for mobile so that our light box looks better on mobile when it's represented and opened up. Now, if we wanted to link to an element, for instance, on the home page, if we switch to desktop and we actually have an element in here, let's say we add a little mailbox icon or some kind of vector artwork here, we can find something, maybe this mail right here. We can add that in right here and we could link this element to our light box by finding light box, selecting the subscribe light box and clicking done. Now if our viewers click on this item, it will take them to the light box. If we switch to our mobile view, we have this same item here and it's linked to the subscribe light box. So if we preview this page now, our light box will likely pop up we can always adjust that and if we click on this here now that pops up our light box. If you don't want that to happen, make sure you delete any of these types of elements on your mobile version of your website. So we're going to switch back to the home page. If we did not want this here, we can hide this element from our mobile version so it shows us that element's hidden. It's still on our desktop version, but not on our mobile version. And now that light box just pops up on its own on mobile. Now if we wanted to make sure this was hidden, let's say we decide later that this is not what we want to happen on our mobile experience, we can just navigate to menus and pages down to light boxes, down to our subscribe, 
and we can make sure in the settings version of this that we select no to not appear on our mobile pages. And so this will keep the light box from appearing on your mobile pages automatically. Make sure like we just did, you delete out any buttons that make it appear on the mobile editor. And then over on desktop, you'll have the same representation of your light box from whatever you designed on the desktop only side. And the last thing here, depending on what changes you make to the desktop side, if you need to optimize that layout here on mobile, you always have the page layout optimizer. So with that light box selected, you can optimize that layout and optimize only the light box elements. It won't change the rest of your document as long as you are navigated to the light box page of your mobile website. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys learned a little bit about editing light boxes with the mobile editor so that you can adjust those light box elements to make sure they look good on your mobile site if you do want them to appear. Remember, if you don't want them to appear, make sure you hide the linked items like linked graphics or linked buttons on your website that send people to that light box. Like for instance, if it's a subscribe to our newsletter type of type of element, make sure you hide that on mobile so you don't accidentally open it up. Unless of course that's the feature you want to happen in the mobile experience of your website. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe for more tips and tutorials and I'll see you next time. Oh, <laughs> oh,